This JTV News Update is brought to you by Flo. This is JTV News Update. I'm Cathy Richards. This afternoon we're out here on the tracks of the A.O. Shirley Recreational Ground or Athletic Ground. Uh, since the hurricanes has hit, the place has been totally devastated. It's not in the best of shape, but management have been able to do what big they can to make it accessible, usable to an extent. And for the BVI Athletics Association, they are about to start their year of athletic activities. Stephanie Penn, who is the General Secretary for the, the association, is going to give us a quick rundown as to what's coming up from this weekend. All right, thank you. Um, we are really excited that we're going to have the opportunity to start our developmental series. We annually have this series. It typically starts in either December or January. And one of the things we didn't want to happen is for there to be no series. Um, developmental basically means that we're creating opportunities for our athletes from under nine and up or even even younger than even the on the nine, as small as you can get, to come out to have an opportunity to be training and developing and to meet goals, especially if you're trying to qualify for other local or regional activities such as CARIFTA or maybe a world junior or senior activity that will be coming up. Um, this particular developmental series is really close to our heart because we're dedicating it and naming it after our late chief coach, Coach Xavier Zach Samuels, who has passed due to Irma, and him passing was quite a blow. And this particular series was his baby. Um, year after year, he would be the one to ensure that the schedule was done, and he would be the one to ensure that on whatever day was scheduled for, that things would be put in place. And now he's not here. But by all means, we're going to ensure that the series happens, as well as our entire um, calendar for the 2018 year because at the end of the day athletics must go on and we have too many budding athletes that have a bright future in this particular sport and we want to ensure they have all the opportunity they can get to be able to do be the best that they can be so we're very very excited that we're having our first developmental meet this coming Saturday the 13th of January the meet is open to anyone that wants to compete and it's scheduled to kick off at 10. We're gonna have registration from nine, but we wanna start our first event at 10. We're gonna have a variety of track events and field events, most of which are not the standard events. We're gonna have the off norm events, such as the 60 meters, the 150 meters, 300 meters, 60 meters. And then we're also gonna have the shot put for the field as well as the javelin. Uh, registration information should be available on the airways at least within by tomorrow or so. But anybody can contact me at 496-7155 for more information if they want to participate. But like I say, we're very excited. We're very happy to dedicate it to our chief coach, Dag. And we miss him a lot, but we want to ensure that the work that he has had such a major hand in continues and ensure that track and field remains the number one sport in the British Virgin Islands. Okay. It's very, very special as well as emotionally, yes. Uh, yes what is. is the state of mind of most of your athletes you've been working with that are associated with DAG, especially Chiron? Would Chiron be coming back to run uh, this Saturday? Well, I know Kyron is on island. I'm not sure whether he'll compete this Saturday. It's going to depend on where he is in his training schedule and whether that's something his coach would want him to do. So I can't confirm whether he'd be competing, but he is on island. Um, outside of that, I guess emotionally, it, it's tough for a lot of persons. And I think the drive right now for a lot of individuals is that Coach put in a lot of work and we're not going to disappoint him. We're going to keep pushing and we're going to make sure that the season goes on. And I think that's the same for athletes as well as other coaches and colleagues that we're going to make this thing happen. And we're really excited. As you mentioned, Kyra McMaster, let me take the opportunity to congratulate both him and Chantel Malone in being ranked in the top 10 in the world for their individual events. Um, just a few days ago, Kyron was listed as number two in the world for the 400 meter hurdles. And Chantel is listed as number 10 in the world for the long jump for the women. So we're really excited about that. I want to really congratulate both of them 
um, for those accomplishments coming out of 2017. So what's further than the 13th? Beyond the 13th, we're looking at pretty much having meets just about every other Saturday. So on the 27th of January, followed by I think it's the 10th of March, 17th of March, and I'm pulling these off of my head here. And then the end of March, we have developmental meets happening. And the developmental series is going to run all the way into April. Um, we have some championships that will come up later on between April and June. We'll have our national youth championship and we'll also have our national junior and senior championships. So those are part of what's going to happen locally. Uh, on top of that will be whatever happens internationally for our athletes. So let's support the BVI Athletic Association in their endeavors for this year as they get started with the developmental meet here at Aero Shirley Grounder from Saturday, January 13. With this JTV News Update, I'm Kathy Richards.